argue he's one of the best boxers in the UFC, even though he fancies himself a well-rounded mixed martial artist, but always changing up the location of his strikes, the tempo. This guy is a well-versed world-class striker. Yeah, he's a world-class striker, and we always have a lot of fun on our shows about the best boxer in the UFC. Start talking Holloway, Masvidal, Mahovic. This guy is along the lines of that in regards to how he implements that skill inside the octagon. He goes out there, fights behind a beautiful jab, and he sets everything up perfectly with the hands. And that is why we see him securing so many knockouts inside the UFC's octagon. Yeah, and a lot of knockouts as an amateur, not just in MMA, but in boxing as well. And just wearing those tiny four-ounce gloves here tonight. We'll see if add to that total. So here's the world beater, Hamzat Shimaev, wicked relevant in two divisions. Every time he sees you, he tries to take you down. <laughs> Gotta think he's gonna try to wrestle here tonight. That's exactly what he does, right? He wants to impose himself on his opponents. He wants to show his dominance when he's inside the octagon. Whether it's on the ground in the grappling, as we saw in Kevin Holland, or whether it's him striking, as we have seen in the beginning of his UFC career. He has all the skills, but it's the mindset of Hamzat Shimaev that I think separates him from most fighters in both weight classes that he competes in. And with respect to Conor McGregor and everybody else, I'm not sure that any athlete has ever taken this sport by storm quite the way Chimaev did back in 2020. Let's see how he fares in another big spot tonight. Our tale of the day for this welterweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Mike Rotnam. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Hamzat Bors Jemaya! All right, Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one, just about Ready. to get underway. Good. All right, Hamzat Shimaya is back as this round gets underway. Undefeated fighter who has officially taken this sport by storm. His fight against Gilbert Burns back at UFC 273 probably is going to end up in the Hall of Fame. But Hamzat didn't want to talk about that this week at all. He wants a quick night at the office. He wants to get a finish and actually said he believes it's going to materialize on the feet and not the ground. We shall see. Sure, gets the early takedown. That did not take long. Making all these shots count. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He is now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. He let him step over to the crucifix. All right, side control now. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is...
fight is getting worse by the minute. Oh, the elbows continue to rain down, and these are really starting to do some damage, champ. He's doing a great job of throwing elbow after elbow. Whatever's available, he's taking it. Shemaev's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Lands a big elbow there. Nicely done. Shemaev's got him in a crucifix now. Gonna go to work from the top. Clean elbow from the top. Right into side control. Shemaev's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got both of old in here, here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, he has done some serious damage with these elbows, DC, and if you're on the other side, you gotta figure out a way to stop this from happening. You gotta get those hands up. You gotta block whenever you're in tight. Make sure you're not taking all these nasty elbows. And there's the elbow from the top by Chimaya. A lot of top pressure being applied here. The elbow is there. Nice job there by Hamza Chimaya. Hit his arm. He's got him in the crucifix. Push up an elbow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to oh your God. knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move his legs are not controlling anything his legs are just free so you have more freedom to use yours oh could get a finish soon looks like a darts choke that darts is tight oh could be the beginning of the end here Submission defense wins this transition. Good work from the top here by Perry. Right to the knee on belly. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. Nice job staying offensive there as he lands a shot from the bottom. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Well, no one wants to see the doctor get called in. No one wants to see them stop this fight, except maybe the fighter's mother or father. But as the round comes to an end, you see the cut on his forehead has gotten really, really bad. We'll see what they do here, see if they call the doctor in. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down, and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, it becomes impossible. They call that the triple down. That's what that is? That's right. <laughs> Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Nice counter right hook there. Wow, strong roundhouse right kick there. Right back. Oh, collar tie. Pseudo throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land ground and pound here or if you're gonna go to a submission. Side control. Shimaev's able to transition back to side control now. Oh, some big elbows starting to pile up. 
Fury's eye is disgusting. It is critical. I know DC has probably turned away at this point in time. They might need to call on the ringside physician pretty soon here. Side control now. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix. All that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. The top guy has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure that the trap he has set is still tended to so that the guy doesn't escape from him. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Shemaev's got him in a crucifix now. Going to go to work from the top. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved, I would think. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Shemaev's got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. Oh, some big elbows landing for him now. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. There's an elbow from the top by Chimaya. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. That shot blocked by Hamza Chimaya. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one. This could be it! Try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Kamzat Shimaev gets up. Clearly, he wanted this fight back to its feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. All right, that's the end of the round, and now is when a cut man really earns his money. You see the cut on the forehead has gotten really, really bad, and you have to ask the question, at this point, if the cut gets any worse, they could stop this fight. All right, we got a few clips for you, DC, of all the damage doled out in that round and his eye continuing to be the main target. I mean, he's getting hammered. He is getting hit in that spot over and over again, and because of that, his opponent has gained in confidence, and he is very limited and what he can do in his approach, because safety has to be first now. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. 
Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous They match. both came with an idea that they were collecting $15,000 extra dollars. And right now, I am... Oh! We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 17 seconds of round number three. We're playing the winner by knockout, Hobbs and Bors Chimayev. All right, so Hamza Chimayev, your winner by KO. No TKO tonight. A lot of pressure on this man to deliver, and... It's just incredible that he keeps producing highlights on this level. Well, to watch him step up, and I mean, it was from day one. It's not like Hamza Chimaev had time to build himself into what he is today. He over-delivered when he got here, and he continues to match and exceed that. What a performance by Chimaev to go out there and knock another opponent out cold. And there are a lot of guys in two divisions, as you know, welterweight and middleweight, that want a piece of this guy. Be careful what you wish for.